Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. A child wandered too far from home. I've seen you two bring up. Oh, Pendo, incendio. Pretend, stupid one, like ours. Couldn't bring up. Pendo, incendio. You barely felt that at all. <laughs> with Victor Rookwood's lot and Ranrock's loyalists. They're working together, all right, but it is not a friendly alliance. I'm sure you'll agree that we need to find a way in other than the front gate. Let's go. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. If I'd known your plan was to dig up half the country... I wouldn't have to dig if you could simply manage to bring me the child. We wouldn't need the child if you hadn't sent a dragon to retrieve the container. I spent months and countless ministry favors tracking. You let them board the carriage. My options were limited once I knew it would be inconveniently beyond my reach at that infernal school. Have you not acquired enough power here? I allowed you to tunnel under my family home. Allowed me? You are here only because you are descended from a Keeper and may at some point inadvertently become valuable. We had an agreement. I will share with you the power that I discovered if you locate the stores of magic that are yet to be found. So, unless you want another demonstration of my power, a power that you one day hope to wield, Bring me the child.
We already knew they were after you, but now we know they're digging for stores of magic. And Ranrock knows about the Keepers. Yes, I caught that too. Professor Rookwood said that you'd understand more once you complete the next trial. Let's get into that castle. Any special words you want me to pass on to your mum? Revelio. I suppose that's the quick way down. Revelio. The Pulsar. Revelio. See where they lead. This must be it. The store of magic Lumos. and the source of Ragnarok's power. It looks empty. If they've taken all of it, why are they still here? 
Branrock said there's more to be found, and if he's right about that, it may Revelio. not be located here. Wherever it is, we need to find it before they do. Where is that portrait? I heard something. I was hoping that was you. Professor Rookwood, the goblins and dark wizards who've overrun your castle are digging for stores of magic and have broken open some sort of container. No! Things are more dire than I could have imagined. If, as you told Percival, a goblin in his vault was wielding a powerful magic, then they have somehow learned. It cannot be! And, sir, they know you were a keeper. Ranrock used the term. This makes no sense. How did... We shall discuss this later. Right now, you must complete the next trial. Just tell me where I need to go. The power you stand to wield must first be fully understood. The trials will ensure that. Power without knowledge is dangerous indeed. In the wrong hands, we will simply have to outwit Ranrock. And my unfortunate namesake. Very well, Professor. Tell me where I need to go. I shall reveal the path. Professor Fig must leave you now. Rebellion. I would join you if I could. I shall await your arrival. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio.
That pillar is blocking the path. I'll need to move it. Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. to the left here, but how? Revelio. Thank <laughs> you. 
send it. Good for you. Wingardium Leviosa. Rebellion. Rebellion. Rebellion.
What a relief.
Revelio. I am curious to hear of Isidore's travels. Do you come in. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father... These are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. What have you done? I took his pain. This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. Thank you. Revelio. You're back. And in one piece, no less. It is good to see you again. Professor Rookwood told me about what happened at Rookwood Castle. In light of the dire circumstances in which we find ourselves, it is most fortunate that someone so competent is following this path. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep the second artifact safe as you've advised. Good. Are you ready to move on? What was the glowing strand that Isadora pulled from her father's chest? It was... pain. You will understand more about her actions as you complete the trials. I'm ready for whatever comes next. In that case, introductions are in order. Allow me to introduce former Hogwarts headmistress, Neve Fitzgerald. How do you do? I must say that I was not entirely surprised to learn that a student had been completing the trials. I've always believed Hogwarts students capable of anything they set their minds to. Thank you, Professor. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. I am certain that you are more than capable of completing my trial. However, I must first... How shall I say? Prepare the location of your next trial. We trust your judgment, Professor Fitzgerald. You should know better than anyone how to manage the inconvenience of... well... A vainglorious and exasperating headmaster? Indeed I should. 
I shall confirm that everything is in order immediately. Of course. Professor Fitzgerald needs some time to clear the way forward. Until then, you should continue to hone your magic. If you learn more about Ranrock and Victor Rookwood's activities in the meantime, please let us know. Very well, Professor. I know, I know. Continue to hone my magic. You do learn quickly. Hopefully you will soon hear from Lodgok as well. And we shall learn how he fared with the helmet you retrieved. Well done today, as always. We shall speak again soon. Natty told me about your run-in with the poachers. I have some news about them as well. Can you meet me soon? I fear that some of what I uncovered has to do with you. When you have a moment, please stop by the Room of Requirement. Deke mentioned you might be interested in learning how to breed beasts. I have been asked to teach you the exploding charm, Bombarda. Once you have completed the tasks I've set forth, speak to me after class. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Say we show you some of what's available. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Hello. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Sacharissa Tugwood, and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But I only want to help the less fortunate. That's incredibly nice of you. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But I've run out of the key ingredient, Boobachuba pus. Boobachubas do grow in the Forbidden Forest, however. 
If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. What precisely are boa tubers? Disgusting things, really. Covered in protrusions. One needs to squeeze them to collect the pus. They smell simply awful and seem to move on their own. Ugh, I wouldn't go near the things if it weren't for my devotion to my classmates. How on earth did you discover that boa tuba pus clears one's skin? One cannot rely on spells for all appearance enhancements. The errant cast, for example, could relocate one's eyebrows entirely rather than merely thinning them. My darling and now perpetually surprised-looking neighbour discovered that on her own. Poor thing. I am convinced that beauty potions are the future. I'm forever looking for ways to make this world a more beautiful place. I suspected that if pure boobatuba pus could cause boils, an altered form would likely reverse such abominations. And I was correct. I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvellous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few boobatubas, but they grow wild, so you'll have to look around. Our spotty classmates are counting on you, so you mustn't tarry. Into the Forbidden Forest for Boa Tubers. I hope it's worth the risk. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. This is where Sakurissa said to go. And where are those Boba Tubers? Just my luck, a troll. Oh, that smells awful. Only oh, four more, thank goodness. Rebellion. Should do it. I'd better get back to Sakurissa now. I've 
been studying Salazar Slytherin's spellbook. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. Hogsmeade, here I come. Uh. Sakarissa, I found the boot with tubers you needed. Splendid. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. May I have them? Of course. Happy to have found them for you. Thank you. And your payment, of course. Now I can begin perfecting my potion to save our poor pimply peers. Don't know who should be more grateful. I or our unsightly spotty classmates. One day the wizarding world will know my name, and you will have been a small part of it. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Perhaps a hybrid. I've finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few parts. Wonderfully done! If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just mind the plants, please. <laughs> 